Yeshin Anani ya Nani bayo Anu ani jajuleje Anani ye e e Nama baba yo Anu ani jajuleje Stobu ya ina stobu ya se Anu wana mwa manfu huni se Oye foreigner Oye jameke ni Efise nene ye Ne kasa If you cry Oni jameke is funny mbro Funi bebre nuhu hua mwye collaboration E wanyum tu Te manfu huni se Ane de wanya gane ni What's your fit? Quick fashion interview. Quick fashion interview. Yeah. Rate your outfit from 1 to 10. No, Let me know what you got 10, on. 1 to 10, no. We do 100. We don't do 10s. What you got on? Balenciaga, of course. The chrome. Balenciaga hoodie, all plain. Yeah. Vetiments from Paris. Okay. Flannel arm. Some Gucci and some Tim's. Yeah. Jewelry from Just Frost. London. That's where everybody get their stuff. Burner Boy, Whiskey, Asha Care, Pato Ranking. A day by your footballers, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the gold from Ghana, you know what I'm saying? What are five fashion items you cannot live without? My chain, my shades, my hat, my grills. I got different grills for different feelings. I mean, I just dropped these ones on, you know, because I'm headed to a meeting up on the street. Okay. Yeah, man, that's one that's one of my sneakers, of course, of All course, right. of course. Of so course. you're a big sneaker hat? Of course. And I always got, like, spare clothes in a bag or something like that. It's in a car, you know? Now, what is a common misconception about Stone Boy? They think I'm from Jamaica. In Ghana, most of my people think that, like, I'm foreign. Oh, what's your favorite Ghanaian dish? Banku and okra stew. Right. let your blessing come down. I know all trust at the age of 14 years, you not know, always seek 750,000 Ghana cities. I want to count them. You know, we are not saying that you are So, on them streets, you know, we say, oh, to suke gua. Ya na yen is a when you scan na bro so and I say, bibi se ne mumu. Or free streets, moon a bite. To whom he said, so I spread this sikana DNA in sa and cabin, you wait in your day. And ye be a corner. I started saving at the age of 14. Oh. I went to Prudential Bank, you know, at the age of 14 and told him I was 18. My dad, like me, I grew up as a rich kid. Mm -hmm. So to see dollars, pounds, you know, all them currencies, I was having it. At age 14, age 14 I had saved 750,000 Ghana City. How? Mm. Oh, wow. Yes, because you know when my dad gives me chop money, he doesn't give me 20 Ghana City. Mm. Yeah, he counts it. Sometimes he leaves like $500. Sometimes he leaves like 2,000 oh. Ghana City, 3,000 Ghana City. And I always have this safe in my room because mm. my dad never wanted me to buy any clothes, no watches, no jewelry, nothing. Everything was bought for me. My games, everything. Like, I was okay, too okay. So I was saving. So when I got to a point where I, where I saved like enough money, I was like, no, I want to like learn how to save in a bank. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I want to manage money. When somebody gives you a 200 Ghana CD note bundle, if you don't take care, within the next three hours, you finish it. Finish it yeah. yeah. But if you know how to manage money, yeah. I didn't do mathematics in school. I wasn't good in maths. But when it comes to monematics, like I'm so <laughs> good in, like I can range my money and go like, okay, mm -hmm. let me just spend this with the fans. Let me use this for this project I'm doing. Okay, let me give this to Mali. Okay, let me, this for my crew. Okay, okay this for my, okay, then this for me. So I never, sometimes when you, me my car, sometimes when you come into my car, you, you see five city planes, you under my car planes, like it's always there. Because when I show some, there's some in the car. It's not that, that that's not an impression. I want to just say thank you to the mm. people that it's believed important. in me and got me here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. You know, because I feel like I've been in so much pain that the prayers I was praying to God was, He just provide that, you know, spiritual, you know, um, how do you say it? Give me the word. Spiritual. Connection. It, no, like the, when you saw me at the washing bay, I wasn't just throwing the money because I want, I know there are rich men there, pack their cars there, mm -hmm. you know, more people who have more money more than me, but me, I feel I owe the streets of Ghana that's, like, you know, that respect. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want them to see me and feel like I'm too big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want them to see me and still see me like, yeah, that's our One brother. Yeah, yeah, that's our man, you know, because I still go to the Zongos, but sometimes when I go to the Zongos, I can't even sit down like the way I used to sit down. Mm -hmm. You know, because people come around. Yeah, and they watch me, I saw it. Like, I was like, hey, like it was crazy. Yeah, it's because, yeah. no, it's because you see, this these people are the people that made us celebrities. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Sometimes when I see some of the artists like with one song, two songs, and they feel like <laughs> so big, I'm like, bro, like you're gonna suck that beautiful girl that loves you. Mm. You know what I mean? Because me, I want Ifia to still love me for who I am. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see Ifia and go like, right, I'm too big, and you know the things she's doing, everything she does, I support. Mm. 
recently me and Mali was watching her videos and Mali was like, into a moon and I couldn't talk about her back. Because yeah, I'm like that with her. You know, she's yeah. real with me. Like when I do something 